Creative TV channel. My name is Veronica Willifield and I am a mixed media artist. And welcome to my studio! This week I am going to give two old vases a new look on life with Dala Mediums. For this project I am going to use the new plaster of Paris bandages. I'm going to use the coarse texture paste. I'm also going to use canvas primer and acrylic gel medium. I have two of these old metal type vases and I am going to make them pretty again so that I can use it. Because I've painted this vase with a metallic spray I am going to prime it with the Dala canvas primer to prepare it for the coarse texture paste that I'm going to paint over it. This way I will be sure that the coarse texture paste will adhere or stick to the vase. While waiting for the um, larger vase to dry, I am going to start with a smaller one and add the plaster of bandage strips to my vase. I am using the plaster of Paris strips to create a faux effect of um, clay or perhaps even cement on my vase. It is so easy to use this strip and the effect is incredible. Simply cut strips of the desired length that you would like to work with. Dip it into the water and place it on your object. Now you can rub it and form the textures that you would like. Because I want to create the idea of clay, I am going to scrunch it up and use it in a more coarse, rough type of way. Of course, if you would like a smooth effect, you can just um, use the strips as it is and gently rub over it so that all the plaster of Paris can go into the tiny little the holes of the gauze. I am going to continue this process until my whole vase is covered. Because I want uh, my vases to have a natural um, effect or a natural look, I am going to use two of my favorite Dollar Craft paint colors. I am going to paint the tan color over the um, canvas primer because after this I am going to use the coarse texture paint and it is just going to um, look better if I paint that over a similar color um, on the background. Because the actual medium um, in the coarse um, texture paste um, dries clear, um, I don't want any white spots to show through the sand that is mixed into this paste. I am also only painting um, two thirds of the vase because at the bottom I want to do something different. Now that the craft paint is dry, I am ready to apply the coarse texture paste which is a similar tan type of color. I want my vase to look like it is made from cement so I am applying quite a thick um, layer of the texture paste and once it is dry I am going to add another layer. I am going to put this aside for it to dry and then in the meantime I am moving back to my plaster of Paris vase which is now dry and can also be painted. So I'm going to, to use a lighter um, cream off-white color on the vase and um, I will decide what type of effect I want to do over it once it's painted. I 
decided to use the dollar umber antique wrap over my um, plaster of paris pot or vase so that i can create a clay type of effect now I have used um, dollar products since I can remember uh, mainly because it's a South African product and I am a great supporter of local, um, local businesses but also because it, it is affordable and um, really good quality. Now I never knew about the dollar antique wrap until I was participating in Kinsflate season 2 on CakeNet and I think it was episode 5 or 6 where um, I was partnered with Jarius and we had to collaborate um, doing a headboard which was a fun, fun project because we, we kind of did it in a relay and the one didn't know what the other one was doing uh, for that half an hour and I wanted um, a quick and easy way to cover the letters we used on the headboard and I found the antique rub on the floor and I must tell you that I've used it and I, I was ecstatic. I couldn't stop talking about it on the floor and I think I drove the producers and the other contestants crazy uh, while raving about how wonderful the antique wrap is. It is super easy to use because you simply apply it with a soft cloth and rub off whatever you don't uh, want and leaving the remaining um, um, rub in the grooves or wherever you would like um, it um, to stay on your project. this who would have thought that it was simple plaster of Paris strips some paint and antique wrap now it is back to our longer base and I am just going to coat the coarse texture paste with a layer of the same um, color that I used um, as the base coat To finish this vase, I am going to use my glue gun and some rough twine um, to cover the bottom, bottom part of the vase. I am just going to cut the twine with scissors and then I'm going to cover the twine with a layer of the gel medium to keep it in place but also to protect it. Dala's gel medium is one of my favorite mediums to use. It is very versatile and I use it literally in almost every piece of art that I create. And there we have it. Two beautiful new vases for a fraction of the price. The Plaster of Paris Strips is one of Dollar's new products and I can highly recommend to, do, to use it. In a previous video, I made beautiful African pots with Dollar Plaster of Paris Strips and balloons. The coarse texture paste is available in 500ml pots, 1 liter, and 5 liters. So oh, this is it for this week's Dollar Creative TV um, video project. I hope you enjoyed it and that you are going to have as much fun as I did. Remember the Dollar products is available nationwide in some of the larger department stores, arts and craft shops 
and also individual art retailers. If you would like to know more about my art, and more specifically my latest um, series of textile sculptures, you are welcome to visit any of my social media platforms or my website and you are also welcome to connect with me on Facebook. Until next week, bye for now.